Oh, oh yes. Hi. Um, so I wanted to ask you some questions about Christianity. Sure, go ahead. But our topic is about Islam. Why do you don't want to talk about Islam? I'm just curious. Um, I I see you always uh, debate Muslims and um, hmm. you know and um, okay, go ahead. To try to prove them wrong. So oh, no problem. So you know, I hear about all these child molestations that priests do. You know, and um, hmm. and uh, you know, also the nuns. Uh, why is that? Let me ask you, those, you said the child molestation, what the age of those kids? Some of them are teenagers, some of them are little kids, such like as five-year-old Like what age? Give me, give me age, example. Give me age. Like five-year-old children. Okay, so five, six-year-olds, is that, is that the age? Yeah. All right, but is, that's mean your prophet is a child molester. Those priests, they will go to hell. Jesus said, those who heard the little one is better for them to put a milestone in their neck and they throw themselves in the deep ocean, which means Jesus already said they will end in the worst hellfire ever. How do you explain to me that as long you are against child molestation for someone she is six or seven, that you have a prophet who marry a child she is six years old? So then why, but why do the Christians do it? You know, they, these my priests, friends, first of all, I can show you, I can show you tons of Muslims are arrested. Hold on. So, so you are saying to me, those are the worst of us. They are criminals. They are not Christians. Because the Christians is those who follow Jesus, not those who call themselves Christian. This is why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Is that the will of God? No. So the question is, as long you agree that they are child molestation people, and they are bad and they are ugly. How come your prophet is following them? Who is following who? Those people, they are not following Jesus. They are following Muhammad. This is Sunnah. The practice of a child molestation is the practice of Islam. He married a child. She is six years old. Explain to me. Go ahead. Lord. That, okay. Yes, he married her. Mm -hmm. But he didn't have sex with her until she became of age of puberty when she became a woman. Really? But it says in the front of me that she was nine. Yes, so okay. when she was nine. So, so you are saying to me, in the age of nine, I, somebody can molest you. I mean, in today's society, it's different. What in today's society? Here we go. See, the, either, but, yeah, either this is there's nothing called today's society, and there's no maybe. nothing called in the before society. Only criminals they used to do that. Can you name for me one person ever in the history of the Arabia before he used to do that? Never. I'm sorry. Can what you name you for me anyone before Muhammad? He used to have sex with the children. Um. I don't know, mm. uh, but um, so this is not what the society is. is. This is not what the society. There's nobody in the society of Muhammad before Muhammad have sex with the children. So Muhammad is the first to start this tradition of having sex with the children. Secondly, Aisha she never have her period, and this is why in the hadith it says the reason that Aisha she was allowed to play with dolls even she was fourteen years old because she don't have her period yet. So Aisha she is fourteen according to the hadith and yet she is considered as a child and this is why the prophet allow her to play with her dolls are you searching prophet google i hear google talking i don't hear you hold on i'm holding And hello, um, anyways, like I was trying to say, when like, um. Hmm. At a certain age, you know, girls were expected to get married. 
Mm. So, so oh, you agree? Even, okay, so now, it, was women. your prophet, was your prophet a good man? For us, those who do that, they would put them in jail. According to Islam right now, the Muslim, they practice this in Islamic countries. They marry girls at the age of six. Are you against that? Today they marry it because this is a sunnah. Whatever Muhammad he says, you follow. Are you willing to give your daughter at the age of six to a man? He's a Muslim. I well, oh god. Um, like, oh gosh. Um, she. What is that? Well, I wouldn't. When she became a teenager, if she wanted to get married, yes, I would allow her to. to my get friend, married. my friend, with my respect to you, my friend, my, with my respect to you, I said six years old. Your prophet, he made, he made it clear that this is everything he do. Muslim, they follow. Muhammad, he pray like this, you pray like this. Muhammad, he marry like that, you marry like this. This is Sunnah. So Muhammad, he marry at the age of six. If a big sheikh like Shabir Ali, he come now. And he want to ask for your hand, or oh, Zakir Naik. The, 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 uh, Zakir Naik is 54 years old. Your daughter is six years old. And he came to marry your daughter according to Allah teachings. Are you willing to do that? I would advise her to wait. Until oh, you she advise your six years old. To, uh, guys, she will advise her six years old daughter to wait. <laughs> Uh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, which means but your daughter, she is six years old. She doesn't know even what management. What do, what do you mean? You will advise her to wait? No, no, hold on, hold on. You know, I, when you say I will advise my daughter who is six years old to wait, I mean, are you are you serious? She is six years old daughter. She is eating chocolate, and she have torn chocolate in her face. This is the girl you want to advise her to wait to get married later. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want her to get married because she's still a child. But thank you very much. So Muhammad is marrying <laughs> children. So no, as long you are against, so do you consider? Do you, are you saying that having sex with a child is a crime? No, because it's different in that history of time. My girl. friend, stop talking about that time. We are it's talking about today. You Muslims, you follow what Muhammad. Muhammad, he he came, he came with the message for all time, not for that time. That's what Muslim says. So Muhammad, when he practiced something, Muslims they have to follow. Today, two thousand nineteen, if a Zakir Naik at the age of fifty four. It doesn't say that girls have to get married at a certain age. It so. says it says that even the Quran mentions speaking about divorcing children. Do you know that? Oh my God, no, it does not. Okay, what if we show it to you in the Quran? What you would yeah. do? <clears throat> do you see my screen? <coughs> do you see my screen? Here we go. Google again. Hold on. Do you see the screen? It says divorcing children. What do you think about that? The Quran have rules about divorcing children. Hold on. Wait. Look, mm. if she, you cannot, okay, so in the, you know, it is in the hadith, you know, it, you cannot force anyone, your daughters to marry anyone they don't want to. <laughs> I was talking about so, force. You can give a child uh, some candies and she will go with you to the bed. She's like, she's a child. She doesn't know what she's doing. What are you talking about? She is a kid. So if a, if a filthy man, he gave a child some candies, he can take her to his home. This is not like, listen, listen, don't tell me you cannot force. Because she's not mature enough. Thank I you. So why, so why, why okay, she is not mature, she is a child. Why you're a prophet? Let me ask you, why you're a prophet at the age of 54, he chose to have a child in his bed? What that present to you? I mean, he have already many wives. Why he choose? There's many women. There are women already. Women, growing women, 
choose one she is maybe 17 18 the, you know child she's a, she, this is six six years old she is six years old how in the world somebody is 54 he go after what he saw in that child make him get tempted Oh, but he okay they didn't consummate the marriage until she was older my friend he was molesting her between six to nine at the age of nine he did intercourse this is what the hadith is saying so at the age of nine he did boom 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 so your prophet well, was molesting the child because molestation not necessarily having sex he is molesting her so from the age of six to the age of nine she is his wife already his wife he can do whatever he want with her at the age of nine, he did intercourse. She he is not engaged to her at the age of six. He did marry her at the age of six. So now we have a man. He is 54 years old. We have a child. She is six years old. What they share together. Someone, he is a man at this age, prophet of God, busy delivering the message of Allah. And we have a child. She is a six years old. So what we will do now? What is the reason for that? Okay, but what about so it said you know Mary was about like twelve years old when she was married. My to friend, Joseph, who said that? This is this, who, said, who, who said that? Who is the stupid? He said that to you. There's nowhere it says that. This is stupid. Secondly, the first baby Mary she have according to the Quran she have no man. Are you saying to me the Quran is lying because the Quran said women Mary she was listen and it says in Christianity well no nowhere in Christianity it says Mary she was 12 years old when she gave birth this is a lie oh really yeah this is a lie show me the verse where there's nowhere secondly Mary she was a virgin what merit according to the Quran Mary she never have a man and the first child she have in order for anyone to have a child she have to be a woman a child cannot give birth so she have to be a woman this is number one number two the child she have is without a man in both book in the bible and in the quran how old are you uh, miss if you don't mind Um, I'm 20. Okay, let me ask you. Do you believe that women are half a brain? I'm sorry? Do you believe that women are half a brain? That women are hard to what? Half a brain. Can I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? They are, hard to they are half a brain. Their brain is not, they have deficiency in their brain. Do you believe in that? Like, what do you mean? Um, the question is very simple. Do you think women who they are female in gender, they have deficiency in their brain? Mm. Do you believe in that? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like men and women think differently. And this, this, stuff. Is, this is another question. I'm talking about deficiency. Do you know what deficiency mean? I think you speak English better than me. Deficiency. It's mean they have something wrong in their cre creation. Their brain is not functioning correctly, correct? This is what deficiency means. So when I def say deficiency in the brain, that means they have deficiency in the brain. Do you agree with that? Why are you asking this? I'm just, I want to see your opinion about what some people think. But some people think women are not smart. So do you think women are not smart? Women are stupid and men are smart? No, I... You don't agree, right? I agree with you. I don't believe in that. Their own way. Okay, so women, they can be smart, right? Women, they are smart, not stupid, right? Yes, we, one of the greatest scholars in Islam, you know, it was Aisha. The Aisha, she was a scholar, guys. Did you take this? Aisha, she was a scholar. Since when? <laughs> she was the first. The first <laughs> listen, listen, okay. I want you to read this. Your prophet saying that most of women they will go to hell because they have deficiency in their brain. What do you say to your prophet? What are you talking about, man? Um, here we go. It's in the front of you. Muhammad, Where did you get this idea? Uh, it's not me who get the idea. This is in your book. It's in the front of you. Read the story. It's in the, in the screen. Read it for us. Go ahead. Uh, 
Hold on. Yes. Okay, what are you trying to show me? I'm showing you that Muhammad he claimed that women they will go to hell most of them because they have deficiency in their brain. I will give you the link. I will give you the link so you can read the hadith. I just see you. I, I just see the I just see the um I guess some hadith that you're trying to show me that uh when she got married I don't see anything. Oh, refresh else. your refresh your YouTube. I just send you the link. You can open the link in Skype. I send it to you. Muhammad, he says, he saw a bunch of women. He says to them, give it charity because majority of you will be in the hellfire. A woman among them, she said, and why is that, Master of Allah? He said, because you are cursing so much, meaning you are ungrateful toward your husbands. He said, and I have not seen among you any, uh, uh, any of those lacking in intellect and religion who are more difficult upon people uh, possessing reason and inside than you so Muhammad he think that women they are the most stupid people ever and they cannot process any information and they cannot incite anything they are really 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 stupid that's what he's saying and he said this is a deficiency in your brain and this is your and so this is a deficiency of a women according to your prophet your brain is not functioning and he said you have deficiency in religion too because you have your menses so what do you say <laughs> what do you think, my friend? I'm happy, by the way, that you call me, and I apologize if I'm a little bit screaming or etc. But I get excited when somebody, uh, you know, I'm, I, I help. When I see people I'm helping, I really get excited. So, what do you think? Do you agree with Muhammad saying that you have deficiency, and you are stupid, you are silly, you will go to hell, and why? Because you have deficiency in the brain, and you have your menstruation every month. Do you agree with that? Are you okay? Are you ready to leave Islam or not yet? What kind of religion you belong to? You belong in a religion, believe and teach that you are stupid. And you are calling me to prove to me that you are smart because you have answers. Correct, guys? Muhammad, he says, Muslim women are stupid. Muslim women, they call me to prove to me that I'm wrong, which means they are smarter than me. I okay. I think you're trying to show me there. Okay, there's a hadith that he talks of where uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He talks about women who are ungrateful to their husbands. My, my friend, he said majority of women they are going to go to hell. And let us say a woman she is ungrateful to her husband. How that is deficiency in her brain? Maybe he is not a good person. Maybe she don't like him. So how that how that is prove that her testimony is equal one man is equal to two, and how the administration have to do with going to hell. Oh my God! When he when the when it says that one or one or one man is equal to two women, they they meant because like um. Like sometimes uh, the two, they need two women as a witness because um, sometimes the woman forgets. Hmm. So you are, you agree with your with, with Muhammad that women are stupid and men but are smarter. But that's the saying they're stupid. Well, yeah, because it says if one of them, no, no because it's saying that the man is accurate and the woman is wrong. So one man is more accurate than two women.
This way says one man is more right than two women. So two of you, you need now to, to, to ask another sister to call me because two of you are equal to me. You alone is half. It doesn't mean that one man is greater than two women. It's not saying it that. that. Okay, is it, it doesn't say in the Quran that the man, he can beat you because he is maintainer of you and because you are stupid. That's mean he can correct you, yes or no? No, no, it does not. Okay. It does not say that. Okay. When you read the hadith, no. you have to read the hadith too. You can't just read Quran and, and make these claims. You have to read. My friend, here we go. I'm reading the hadith and reading the Quran. The Quran no. in front of me, it says that the man, he can beat you. Here we go. Chapter 4, verse number 34. And the man is in charge of the women. Why is in charge? Because you, women, according to Islam, are stupid. Men are maintainers of women that are supposed to take care of them. Okay, how they take care of them by beating them? Read the read the read the hadith, read the Quran. They they are the one who will correct you, which means they are the one who can make a judgment if you are right or wrong. He is your God. He is the one who school you. He is the one who admonish you. He is the one who beat you. When the man he have all those things in his hand, that's mean he is the one is right, and the women always wrong. Can a woman beat her husband in Islam if he's wrong? Uh, give me one second. Hold on. No problem. <clears throat> Your Google is so slow. Look, hmm. the, the prophets, um, you know, he talks about being like honoring your wife and being okay so if your husband he beat you he's honoring you if, if, if you are my wife with my respect to you i honor you by beating you kind treatment and honoring one's my wife friend, how you honor a woman by beating her explain to me your father he is married to your mother is he honor her every day by beating her actually my parents are not are not Muslims. Okay. I am a Muslim. Okay, that means they fool you. They made you believe in a, in a, in a stupid cult. How, how in the world do you believe in such a mad, mad religion like this? A religion says that you are going to be a sex product in the heaven of Allah. Allah will give the Muslim man hundreds of women for sex and he will be a sex toy in the heaven. How do you accept that? How do you accept the book saying that the man, he can beat you? How in the world a woman believe in such a mad cult like this? A man who is a child molester. You are against child molestation. By the way, I can show you one million imam molesting children in the mosque. It's all over. But your prophet is the first child molester. How you believe in a book says the man he can beat you. Why you are in America if you live in the USA. If you beat a dog, you go to jail. Which means Muslim women, she don't have right of a dog in America. If I beat a dog in America, I go to jail. In Islamic countries, according to Islam, if the husband beat the wife, he is doing his right. A dog in America is more protected than a Muslim woman. This is the truth. So how a smart person like you accepts such a cult like that? Friends, they fool you, they lie to you. Islam, Quran, full of miracles. It's a garbage book. Here we go. Let me bring me the biggest shake ever and everybody will die laughing at the miracles of the Quran. I'm here to challenge everybody. Who is the shake right now who is listening would like to call us so this lady she can see how stupid the Quran. <laughs> this is the book of stupidity literally.
Are you there, my friend? Did you decide to leave this cult? You are smarter than this. How a lady like you go to school? She have a brain. She is smart. She accepts such a madness like this. Our religion says that man is maintainer and how they are maintainer because Allah, he excel and they spend their property on you as if you are, with my respect to you, as if you are a whore or a hooker. This is a shame. Because I spend my money in my wife, I have the right to beat her. Yeah. You are not for hire, you are a wife. But because in Islam you are for hire, he can have four of you. Are you are you preparing yourself that your husband Ahmad is going to have four wives like you? And then by one word send you text message, he would divorce you and he will get a new brand new four. How a woman in the year 2019 accept such a cult? It's your friend, my friend, I know. You have a friends in school who for you, they made you believe that this is an amazing religion. We are the Arab, we are the one who made Islam, and we are the one who is going to expose it and destroy it. Okay. Are you leaving Islam? No, I'm never leaving it. You will leave Islam. You will wait. Just wait. You are leaving Islam. In, in, inside your heart, you are saying, this is garbage. This is, this is why you are so silent. You have nothing to it's say. Not me, yes, because I love Jesus. <laughs> no, you see, you have no answer. Do you have an answer? You don't. She hang up.